Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be registering for a free SSL certificate from the AWS Certificate Manager. And we are going to be using that certificate to secure our website. Currently, this is our website and it is not secure. Let's go to the Management Console. Select Services. Then come down to Security, Identity and Compliance. And select Certificate Manager. Then click request a certificate. We want to request a public certificate. Click request a certificate. We are going to enter our domain name in here. And I can also request another certificate. And this time I'll request for a wildcard certificate. But you don't have to do this one. This is optional. The second certificate I'm requesting is a wildcard certificate. And this is just for the subdomain name of my domain name. So once you've entered your domain name, click next. And on this page, we have to validate that this domain name belongs to us. There are two ways we can validate it. One is through email and the other one is through DNS validation. Since we registered our domain name in Route 53, using the DNS validation is the easiest way. So I'll select the DNS validation and click next. I'm not going to add any tag and I'm going to click review. Then I'm going to click confirm and request. Now on this page, it is saying validation status is pending. Click on this drop down and click on this drop down. To validate this domain name, I have to create a record for this same name in my Route 53 hosted zone. But because we registered this domain with Route 53, it is easier to just create it from here. So if you click this button, and click create, it is going to automatically create that record for you in Route 53. This is why I like using the DNS validation. For the second one, I'll do the same. I'll click create record in Route 53 and click create. And you can see the status is success. And when I click continue, and I'm just going to click refresh up here. Going to click refresh and there you go. The status of my certificate is now issued and now I can use this certificate to secure my website. And this is how you register for a free AWS SSL certificate. In the next lecture, we are going to be using this certificate to secure our website. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.